Tiger, also known as boreal forest or snow forest, is a biome characterized by coniferous forests consisting mostly of pines, spruces and larches. The taiga is the world's largest terrestrial biome. In North America it covers most of inland Canada and Alaska as well as parts of the extreme northern continental United States where it is known as the Northwoods. In Eurasia, it covers most of Sweden, Finland, much of Norway, some lowland, coastal areas of Iceland, much of Russia from Karelia in the west to the Pacific Ocean, and areas of northern Kazakhstan, northern Mongolia, and northern Japan. However, the main tree species, the length of the growing season and summer temperatures vary. For example, the taiga of North America mostly consists of spruces, Scandinavian and Finnish taiga consists of a mix of spruce, pines and birch, Russian taiga has spruces, pines and larches depending on the region, while the eastern Siberian taiga is a vast larch forest. A different use of the term taiga is often encountered in the English language with boreal forest, used in the United States and Canada to refer to only the more southerly part of the biome, while taiga is used to describe the more barren areas of the northernmost part of the biome approaching the tree line and the tundra biome. Hoffman discusses the origin of this differential use in North America and why it is an inappropriate differentiation of the Russian term. Although at high elevations taiga grades into alpine tundra through crumholtz, it is not an alpine biome only like subalpine forest, and much of taiga is lowlands. Climate and Geography Taiga is the world's largest land biome, and makes up 29% of the world's forest cover. The largest areas are located in Russia and Canada. The taiga is the terrestrial biome with the lowest annual average temperatures after the tundra and permanent ice caps. Extreme winter minimums in the northern taiga are typically lower than those of the tundra. The lowest reliably recorded temperatures in the Northern Hemisphere were recorded in the taiga of northeastern Russia. The taiga or boreal forest has a subarctic climate with very large temperature range between seasons, but the long and cold winter is the dominant feature. This climate is classified as DFC, DWC, DSC, DFD and DWD in the Koppen Climate Classification Scheme, meaning that the short summer or more lasts one to three months and always less than four months. In Siberian taiga the average temperature of the coldest month is between minus 6 degrees Celsius and minus 50 degrees Celsius. There are also some much smaller areas grading towards the oceanic CFC climate with milder winters. Whilst the extreme south and west of the taiga reaches into humid continental climates with longer summers, the mean annual temperature generally varies from minus 5 degrees Celsius to 5 degrees Celsius. But there are taiga areas in eastern Siberia and interior Alaska Yukon where the mean annual reaches down to minus 10 degrees Celsius. According to some sources, the boreal forest grades into a temperate mixed forest when mean annual temperature reaches about 3 degrees Celsius. Discontinuous permafrost is found in areas with mean annual temperature below 0 degrees Celsius. Whilst in the DFD and DWD climate zones continuous permafrost occurs and restricts growth to very shallow rooted trees like Siberian larch, the winters, with average temperatures below freezing, last 5 to 7 months. Temperatures vary from minus 54 degrees Celsius to 30 degrees Celsius throughout the whole year. The summers, while short, are generally warm and humid. In much of the taiga, minus 20 degrees Celsius would be a typical winter day temperature and 18 degrees Celsius an average summer day. The growing season, when the vegetation in the taiga comes alive, is usually slightly longer than the climatic definition of summer as the plants of the boreal biome have a lower threshold to trigger growth. In Canada, Scandinavia and Finland, the growing season is often estimated by using the period of the year when the 24-hour average temperature is plus 5 degrees Celsius or more. 
For the tiger plains in Canada, growing season varies from 80 to 150 days, and in the tiger shield from 100 to 140 days. Some sources claim 130 days growing season is typical for the tiger. Other sources mention that 50 to 100 frost-free days are characteristic. Data for locations in southwest Yukon gives 80 to 120 frost-free days. The closed canopy boreal forest in Kenosa Ski National Park near Plesetsk, Arkhangelsk Province, Russia, on average has 108 frost-free days. The longest growing season is found in the smaller areas with oceanic influences, in coastal areas of Scandinavia and Finland. The growing season of the closed boreal forest can be 145 to 180 days. The shortest growing season is found at the northern tiger tundra ecotone, where the northern tiger forest no longer can grow and the tundra dominates the landscape where the growing season is down to 50 to 70 days, and the 24-hour average of the warmest month of the year usually is 10 degrees Celsius or less. High latitudes mean that the sun does not rise far above the horizon, unless solar energy is received than further south. But the high latitude also ensures very long summer days, as the sun stays above the horizon nearly 20 hours each day, with only around 6 hours of daylight occurring in the dark winters, depending on latitude. The areas of the taiga inside the Arctic Circle have midnight sun in midsummer and polar night in midwinter. The taiga experiences relatively low precipitation throughout the year, primarily as rain during the summer months, but also as fog and snow. This fog, especially predominant in low-lying areas during and after the thawing of frozen Arctic seas, means that sunshine is not abundant in the taiga even during the long summer days. Snow may remain on the ground for as long as nine months in the northernmost extensions of the taiga ecozone. In general, taiga grows to the south of the 10 degrees Celsius July isotherm, but occasionally as far north as the 9 degrees Celsius July isotherm. Rich in spruces, Scots pines in the western Siberian plain, the taiga is dominated by larch in eastern Siberia before returning to its original floristic richness on the Pacific shores. Two deciduous conifers mingle throughout southern Siberia, birch and populus tremula. The southern limit is more variable. Depending on rainfall, taiga may be replaced by forest steppe south of the 15 degrees Celsius July isotherm where rainfall is very low, but more typically extends south to the 18 degrees Celsius July isotherm, and locally where rainfall is higher south to the 20 degrees Celsius July isotherm. In these warmer areas, the taiga has higher species diversity, with more warmth-loving species such as Korean pine, Jezo spruce, and Manchurian fir, and merges gradually into mixed temperate forest or, more locally, into coniferous temperate rainforests where oak and hornbeam appear and join the conifers, birch and populus tremula. The area currently classified as taiga in Europe and North America was recently glaciated. As the glaciers receded they left depressions in the topography that have since filled with water, creating lakes and bogs found throughout the taiga. In Sweden the taiga is associated with the Norland terrain. Soils Taiga soil tends to be young and poor in nutrients. It lacks the deep, organically enriched profile present in temperate deciduous forests. The thinness of the soil is due largely to the cold, which hinders the development of soil and the ease with which plants can use its nutrients. Fallen leaves and moss can remain on the forest floor for a long time in the cool, moist climate which limits their organic contribution to the soil. Acids from evergreen needles further leach the soil, creating spodosol, also known as podzol. Since the soil is acidic due to the falling pine needles, the forest floor has only lichens and sim mosses growing on it. In clearings in the forest and in areas with more boreal deciduous trees, there are more herbs and berries growing. Diversity of soil organisms in the boreal forest is high, comparable to the tropical rainforest. Flora 
since North America and Asia used to be connected by the Bering Land Bridge. A number of animal and plant species were able to colonize both continents and are distributed throughout the tiger biome. Others differ regionally, typically with each genus having several distinct species, each occupying different regions of the tiger. Tigers also have some small leaved deciduous trees like birch, alder, willow, and poplar, mostly in areas escaping the most extreme winter cold. However, the Diurian larch tolerates the coldest winters in the northern hemisphere in eastern Siberia. The very southernmost parts of the taiga may have trees such as oak, maple, elm and lime scattered among the conifers, and there is usually a gradual transition into a temperate mixed forest, such as the eastern forest boreal transition of eastern Canada. In the interior of the continents with the driest climate, the boreal forests migrate into temperate grassland. There are two major types of taiga. The southern part is the closed canopy forest, consisting of many closely spaced trees with mossy ground cover. In clearings in the forest, shrubs and wildflowers are common, such as the fireweed. The other type is the lichen woodland or sparse taiga. With trees that are farther spaced and lichen ground cover, the latter is common in the northernmost taiga. In the northernmost taiga the forest cover is not only more sparse but often stunted in growth form. Moreover, ice-pruned asymmetric black spruce are often seen, with diminished foliage on the windward side. In Canada, Scandinavia and Finland, the boreal forest is usually divided into three subzones the high boreal or tiger zone, the middle boreal, and the southern boreal. A closed canopy boreal forest with some scattered temperate deciduous trees among the conifers, such as maple, elm and oak. This southern boreal forest experiences the longest and warmest growing season of the biome, and in some regions this subzone is commonly used for agricultural purposes. The boreal forest is home to many types of berries, some are confined to the southern and middle closed boreal forest, others grow in most areas of the taiga, and some can grow in both the taiga and the low arctic tundra. The forests of the taiga are largely coniferous, dominated by larch, spruce, fir and pine. The woodland mix varies according to geography and climate so for example the eastern Canadian forests eco-region of the higher elevations of the Laurentian Mountains and the northern Appalachian Mountains in Canada is dominated by balsam fir abbeys balsamea, while further north the eastern Canadian shield tiger of northern Quebec and Labrador is notably black spruce Pisha mariana and tamarack larch larix. Laracina, evergreen species in the taiga have a number of adaptations specifically for survival in harsh taiga winters, although larch, the most cold tolerant of all trees, is deciduous. Taiga trees tend to have shallow roots to take advantage of the thin soils, while many of them seasonally alter their biochemistry to make them more resistant to freezing, called hardening. The narrow conical shape of northern conifers, and their downward drooping limbs, also help them shed snow. Because the sun is low in the horizon for most of the year, it is difficult for plants to generate energy from photosynthesis. Pine, spruce and fir do not lose their leaves seasonally and are able to photosynthesize with their older leaves in late winter and spring when light is good but temperatures are still too low for new growth to commence. The adaptation of evergreen needles limits the water loss due to transpiration and their dark green color increases their absorption of sunlight. Although precipitation is not a limiting factor, the ground freezes during the winter months and plant roots are unable to absorb water, so desiccation can be a severe problem in late winter for evergreens. Although the taiga is dominated by coniferous forests, some broadleaf trees also occur, notably birch, aspen, willow, and rowan. Many smaller herbaceous plants, such as ferns and occasionally ramps, grow closer to the ground. 
periodic stand replacing wildfires clear out the tree canopies, allowing sunlight to invigorate new growth on the forest floor. For some species, wildfires are a necessary part of the life cycle in the taiga. Some, e.g., jack pine have cones which only open to release their seed after a fire, dispersing their seeds onto the newly cleared ground. Certain species of fungi are also known to do this. Grasses grow wherever they can find a patch of sun, and mosses and lichens thrive on the damp ground and on the sides of tree trunks. In comparison with other biomes, however, the taiga has low biological diversity. Coniferous trees are the dominant plants of the taiga biome. A very few species in four main genera are found. The evergreen spruce, fir and pine, and the deciduous larch. In North America, one or two species of fir and one or two species of spruce are dominant. Across Scandinavia and Western Russia, the Scots pine is a common component of the taiga, while taiga of the Russian Far East and Mongolia is dominated by larch. Fauna The boreal forest, or taiga, supports a relatively small range of animals due to the harshness of the climate. Canada's boreal forest includes 85 species of mammals, 130 species of fish, and an estimated 32,000 species of insects. Insects play a critical role as pollinators, decomposers, and as a part of the food web. Many nesting birds rely on them for food in the summer months. The cold winters and short summers make the taiga a challenging biome for reptiles and amphibians which depend on environmental conditions to regulate their body temperatures. And there are only a few species in the boreal forest including red-sided gutter snake, common European adder, blue-spotted salamander, northern two-lined salamander, Siberian salamander, wood frog, northern leopard frog, boreal chorus frog, American toad, and Canadian toad. Most hibernate underground in winter. Fish of the taiga must be able to withstand cold water conditions and be able to adapt to life under ice-covered water. Species in the taiga include Alaska blackfish, northern pike, walleye, long-nosed sucker, white sucker, various species of cisco, lake whitefish, round whitefish, pygmy whitefish, arctic lamprey, various grayling species, brook trout, chum salmon, Siberian taimen, lenick and lake chub. The taiga is home to a number of large herbivorous mammals, such as moose and reindeer, caribou. Some areas of the more southern closed boreal forest also have populations of other deer, species such as the elk and roe deer. The largest animal in the taiga is the wood bison, found in northern Canada, Alaska and has been newly introduced into the Russian Far East. Small mammals of the taiga biome include rodent species including beaver, squirrel, North American porcupine and vole, as well as a small number of lagomorph species such as snowshoe hare and mountain hare. These species have adapted to survive the harsh winters in their native ranges. Some larger mammals, such as bears, eat heartily during the summer in order to gain weight, and then go into hibernation during the winter. Other animals have adapted layers of fur or feathers to insulate them from the cold. Predatory mammals of the taiga must be adapted to travel long distances in search of scattered prey or be able to supplement their diet with vegetation or other forms of food. Mammalian predators of the taiga include Canada lynx, Eurasian lynx, stoat, Siberian weasel, least weasel, sable, American marten, North American river otter, European otter, American mink, wolverine, Asian badger, fisher, gray wolf, coyote, red fox, brown bear, American black bear, Asiatic black bear, polar bear and Siberian tiger. More than 300 species of birds have their nesting grounds in the taiga. Siberian thrush, white-throated sparrow, and black-throated green warbler migrate to this habitat to take advantage of the long summer days and abundance of insects found around the numerous bogs and lakes.
Of the 300 species of birds that summer in the taiga only 30 stay for the winter. These are either carrion feeding or large raptors that can take live mammal prey, including golden eagle, rough-legged buzzard, and raven, or else seed-eating birds, including several species of grouse and crossbills.